Welcome back. Yeah, so it's been another two months since we did this, but thankfully this is the last mission of Soldier of Fortune. It only took 11 months to get this far, but <laughs> we're here in a six hour game, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, like literally it took less to actually get to this point, but yeah, we, you yeah. know, just life stuff and uni and what not getting in the way, we couldn't do the video straight up. So, the first thing that you notice back there is the only pool of water in the entire game. That was the... oh yeah. Yeah, and weird. you can't even swim in it because it's too shallow. <laughs> and another thing you notice is there's no gore in this whole mission. Uh, it took me forever trying to figure out why the fuck that wasn't working, and it turns out it's because with my new computer, uh, the registry files of Soldier of Fortune got fucked up, and because of the way it does the violence lock, it automatically resets itself to zero gore, and the only way to fix that was to reinstall the game, and I said fuck that. So, basically you get no gore. Ah. Oh well, it's not much of a difference, except for... The difference no. between strawberries and um, just no strawberries, aka the blood splatters. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but the the uh, the practical use of it is actually really good because it means the uh, the uh, interface doesn't get too crowded with like blood and uh, body parts and shit. So it makes it easier to see what's going on. That's that's also true. I know it's water here. I'm guessing that's supposed to be swimmable, but. <laughs> Once again, they've just made it shallow. Yeah, I get what you mean. Less clutter in the, in the screen. But it looks so beautiful with all that blood. Well, it is Soldier of Fortune, I guess. But uh, what you'll notice is I've gone for like six or seven rooms here and I haven't taken any points of damage. Which is pretty impressive, mm -hmm. I've got to say. Because this mission is, well, obviously it's the hardest in the game. Yeah. And when we, when we get to the final boss in Germany 4, then you're really going to see the sort of shit that I went through to record this fucking <laughs> game. It's where the magic begins. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's also where it ends. Unfortunately. Until the next adventures, <laughs> which is a bit yeah. psycho than the, than the fourth mission. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy so far. Not one bit of damage. Yeah. So you so you'll see uh, that Raven were really uh, creative at this point and they put another sewer level in the game because like one sewer level's never enough they need to give you another one yeah gotta love the sewer levels yep they're great and you gotta love random cardboard boxes in the sewers as mm. well that music's Wouldn't far it? too intense for Sewer sneaking. So, you reckon? So you got a massive gun, like killing everything, but still. I, th I know it's like trying to draw up to the end, but like maybe they could have had it a little bit more like we're gonna sneak in. I don't know, it seems, uh, seems fitting enough, I reckon. Unless they're like, oh, you know, now you know what to do, go kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the most exaggerated death I've seen. That was. Couldn't be any worse than James Bond Golden Eye. Yeah, that, that had some pretty retarded death animation. <laughs> oh, there's that beautiful water you can't drink. So, I was going to say drink. <laughs> I suppose you can't drink it either. <laughs> well, I don't know. Considering how tough John Mullins is, you'd think he'd have a pretty good immune system as well. Yeah, probably take a little slurp. Yeah. Oh, man, if... No one would have known that that was there. 
I just love how, like, you shoot one bullet and the whole fucking thing explodes. Hmm. And more shelves full of cardboard boxes. Look, there's a hidden thing behind the cardboard boxes. <laughs> yeah, some... Like, like, don't want to, like, state the obvious and all. <laughs> but, Captain Obvious! And, uh, just proving a point that there's fucking nothing in these boxes. Except for the ones behind, um, in front of yeah, the grenade, hidden area. Grenades, yeah. yeah. Obviously they want you to grenade something. Here we go. And you walk close to this grate and it just explodes for some reason. <laughs> it's because of how badass he is. Yeah. Anything in proximity just blows up. So yeah, there's still not one single point of damage. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself here. That was a pretty good roll. Good effort by it that was. guy. <laughs> he might have killed you. <laughs> Maybe if he uh, put more effort into actually aiming rather than rolling. Yeah. And that guy who basically just didn't try at all. Yeah. Nice for dropping by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's all these uh, fucking snipers up on the uh, up on the walls here. That, they make them so obvious, it's like, the, the level's really, like, bright, and they're like little dark objects. Oh, except for that one. Yeah. And that one, I would've got owned by them. Locked. So you'll notice that the heavy machine gun is, for some reason, the most accurate gun ever at long range. <laughs> How do you snipe? Yeah. <laughs> That's how I snipe. Actually, usually I use the rocket launcher to snipe. Gotta love those uh, very well rendered trees. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. And I took damage there from the fucking rocket launcher. Mm. Imagine if the rockets shoot faster. That'd yeah. be hard. They are pretty slow moving, really. Yeah. Like, bullets shoot faster than rockets, hey? <laughs> and there's actually two of them here, so you gotta pound, like, two clips worth of fucking machine gun ammo to take these guys down. And you'll notice that I've not used any other gun, and that's because ammo is really fucking hard to come by in the later levels. So you gotta save as much as you can. You're so lucky that you turned around, because you, like, it actually looked like you weren't prepared, and you saw those guys roll, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, if they yeah. didn't roll in, you would have been dead, seriously. Pretty much. So this door's locked, it opens up somewhere else. Oh, get the key up here. No, it's even stupider than that. And it actually, it takes me like a minute and a half to do this fucking bit because it's so dumb. And I didn't, I didn't edit any of it out, so you can see how dumb it is. No, that's good. Right, so there's a window and there's a fucking wheel <laughs> next to it. I'm guessing it opens up the gate over there, yeah, like it said. But, but you gotta hold the fucking button to make the gate go up. And for some fucking reason, yeah, see here, I didn't realise, I just pressed the wheel and tried to run, because it's fucking timed. And if you don't get there fast enough, it closes again. So you go, I realise it closed, so I'm like, well, fuck this. So you go back up, and what you realise is they've put a window there to help sort of show you that the gate's going up. Yeah. But it's, you have to get so close to the wheel to make it move that you can't fucking see the gate and turn the wheel at the same fucking time. So you don't even know when it's open. That's so bad. Yeah, it's so shit. So then you gotta fucking run as quick as you can down here. Oh, imagine if you get crushed under it. Yeah. So I don't know how the fucking guards usually get through there. There's probably someone up there and they're like, Open the gate! Yeah, that's true I guess. But I saw no one- oh, well, there's the sniper up there. Oh, it, that sniper should have been by the window, I reckon. But oh, they're probably like, oh, we can't code it there because the window's too small to shoot out. In fact, you can't even see out of it. 
They could have made the window, instead of it, like, um, being like that, she would have made a cross or something on it, so it's like one of those key windows. Yeah. Hmm. Thought I heard some dogs barking in this level. Yeah, so did I. Weird. <laughs> Yeah, so for some reason, uh, this door hasn't been open in ages. For some mm. reason, there's a barn in the castle. I have no idea why. I thought the barn would have been outside the castle. I just don't know why there's a barn in a castle. Weird. Doesn't seem to be any reason for it. What was that guy shooting? That guy was shooting the slug thrower, and pretty much the rest of the game is going to be devoted to showing off the slug thrower. Cool. So you'll be able to see that in, in the next levels. And uh, of course the uh, secret entrance into the missile base is, is in the barn. In the barn, yeah. That, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is not generic at all. <laughs> no. So here's the slug thrower. I was going to show oh, yeah. it off for the last guy, but there weren't any last guys, so. We'll see it in the next mission. In the next level, alrighty. I I actually thought that the the slug thrower was the shotgun looking gun. Uh, so I think I remember actually shooting that gun. Okay. Loading. So it did pretty good then. And the loading screen is a red herring because I didn't die. 